हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल मनीकांसन स्टडी मंत्र एम एस एम आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर स्टेइंग एट होम एंड टेकिंग केयर ऑफ योर हेल्थ सो बी हेल्दी बी फिट एंड स्टे एट होम एंड आल्सो आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस दिस वीडियो इट इज़ आवर थर्ड वीडियो बट रिगार्डिंग आवर चैप्टर कंसेप्ट दैट मीन्स दिस इज वी आर डिस्कसिंग द चैप्टर वन विच इज वट वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द कम्प्यूटर सिस्टेम वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट कम्प्यूटर सिस्टेम नाउ दिस इज सेकेंड वीडियो रिगार्डिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ कंप्यूटर दैट मीन्स चैप्टर नंबर वन विच इज कंप्यूटर सिस्टेम नाउ विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच मोर टाइम आई डायरेक्टली वॉन्ट टू एंटर टू आवर पोर्शन दैट मीन्स कोर्स Uh, where we have left yesterday but before that i would like to say that i nowadays i am providing online classes for uh, our school that is luit international academy bokakhat now here <coughs> we will start in uh, last class in between in previous class we have discussed about various types of computers that means how many types of computers how many categories of computers we have seen total five types of computers we have seen but those categories were being uh, categorized on the basis of yes sizes of the computer some computers may be very small some may be bit larger and some may be very large like supercomputer isn't it now the smallest one is was what mobile computer then it came to micro computer then mini computer then then one more computer was there that is main frame computer they are a bit larger right and extremely large com uh, computers are known as what super computer and they are the fastest computer that exist on our earth now india have also purchased several computers uh, super computers for faster calculation faster functioning in some institutions where they need faster operations or faster functions okay very fast functions now we will uh, yes in previous class we have discussed a bit regarding input devices and output devices yes but i gave a very rough idea that means we have to start it from today very well now input devices what do you mean by input devices in previous class i have told you that input devices are those devices input devices are those devices in which we that means users we means users enter or give put input to the system of computer that means to the computer system user input device uh, input data or instruction whatever be that means user will give instructions to the computer system through these input devices with the help of these input devices now some of the uh, common input devices are what mouse keyboard joystick etc scanner these are one of the uh, common uh, some of the most common input devices but today we will not talk about those as much but uh, today we will learn some new input regarding some new input devices for example yes for example uh, you may consider yeah barcode reader what barcode reader then micr or you may say magnetic ink reader hmm magnetic ink character reader as we have and uh, some are um, omr so we will learn these things in details uh, step by step okay first we will discuss about bar b a are bar code c o d e code 
reader. What do you mean by barcode reader? The name itself uh, gives the idea. What do you mean by barcode? See, have you seen almost all the items? Almost, I am telling almost all the items have a on the back on its back. If you look at a book, there also you will see some these type of strips. Some are bit dark. Some are very light. Some are very light. Like, do you see this type of things? These are called. These are called. Some of them are very close. Some of them are bit far also. These type of things are called. These type of symbols or signs are called barcode. What? Barcode. Actually, what does it show? Say. Or some information, useful information, uh, such as price of a book. Understood? Price of a book, uh, batch numbers, etc., etc. These informations regarding that particular item are being stored in the form of a barcode. This is a digital way of uh, digital way, uh, not only digital but also an encrypted way of what storing data in the form in this form this is a barcode this is a barcode now do you understand do you really understand what does it mean nobody can understand by looking at this particular uh, this arrangement okay but there is a device which can which can scan this thing scan means which can read this thing first it will scan this and it will give you the idea or give you the data that means decode this symbol actually what it means and what are the information that is being stored inside this particular what this particular uh, um, pattern okay I hope you got it in this particular pattern now to read this we use barcode reader barcode reader now uh, this is barcode reader. one more important thing nowadays this barcode reader is being what uh, modified to some other code that is called it is very familiar present in present time qr what code it is called qr code now the qr code also a uh, similar type of things but here no bars will be here bars are available so it is called as bar barcode but here some kind of digital symbols now it is very difficult to show here actually you will see some kind of this 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 type of symbols are there but in a what square in a square form inside a square there are left several uh, dark dark spots are there some uh, some spots are also uh, vacant on, um, almost vacant also some spots are very vacant have you seen now I will I would like to show you the barcode see look at here this sorry not this is a qr code what this is a qr code have you understood now it is uh, i want an answer now i want a an answer from you people see why it is called barcode i have told you right now why it is called qr code or what is the full form of qr code can anybody uh, tell me if you know then please uh, write um, the full form of QR code in your comment section okay I hope you will do it now this is also a very indigenous or very new type of technique or new type of uh, representation of data in digital form in today's world okay this is a QR code and for uh, for what for scanning this or to decode this we need what qr code reader yes or no but nowadays our smartphones are very much uh, capable of decoding this type of codes understood so this code is very much useful but these barcodes are still uh, 
all all uh, all smartphones cannot uh, scan this barcode that means they, they cannot decode this barcode but this can be decoded by our any our uh, any of our what uh, smartphones in present day, uh, nowadays now we will move to now for the second uh, topic and that is what magnetic ink magnetic ink character reader m i oh, it is not called m i c r m i c r kisi or cheez ko bola jata uh, m i c r is something different okay the full form of m i m i c r is what magnetic ink character recognition what magnetic ink character recognition it is called m i c r but now i am talking about magnetic magnetic ink character reader now do you know what is character character means the numbers a b c d something okay these are called characters now reader means we all know reader means what who can read hmm? a device which can read something what he can he can read he can read magnetic ink now what is magnetic ink very good question yes or no what is magnetic ink magnetic ink nothing but an ink you may imagine it as ink which is a magnetic uh, component or magnetic form of magnet uh, iron oxide what iron oxide ka kuch part hai ye. it is magnetic ink is a special ink that contains magnetic particles understood magnetic components or magnetic particles of iron oxide see iron oxides have some magnetic particles con uh, included in it if we extract that magne magnetic particles from those iron oxide and use those particles to make an ink that ink will be known as what magnetic ink very good now uh, what is the um, what is the basic advantage of this uh, this ink see magnetic ink cannot be forged f o r g e d f o r g e d forged forged matlab forged bhi kar sakte ho forged bhi likha koi kai log padhte hain okay forged 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 karna itna easy nahi hai nahi kar sakte that means ek bar likhne ke baad usko mitana aur ya fir usko d uh, that means we cannot um, we cannot change it in our वे दैट मींस एक बार लिखने के बाद उसको फोर्ज करना फोर्ज करना इतना आसान नहीं है मतलब समझ में आ रहा है आपको कि उसको कुछ जैसे मान लो यहां पे कुछ ऐसा मैं एक एग्जांपल दे रहा हूं जैसे ए, एक ऐसा लिख दिया कोई 5 लिखा और किसी ने आके जबरदस्ती उसको ऐसे बना दिया तो ये क्या बन गया इसका क्या हो गया ये 6 बन गया ना तो एक्चुअली ये समझाना क्या चाहता था 5 लेकिन कोई uh, galat banda aake usko kya bana diya isko aisa bana diya to ek 6 ban gaya na it is called forging it is called fo forging it is called forged understood so this type of these are very simple example actually so no one can change by their will okay once it is written by magnetic ink it cannot be forged understood now so uh, since it is so much of uh, uh, see since uh, this ink bearing so much of uh, advantages so normally this type of ink are used by banking sectors understood banking organizations or uh, some of the uh, organizations those need uh, those need actual those need uh, um, security levels suppose some uh, for some security uh, concern to concern to some security uh, they uh, those institutions must use uh, all, may, all means they use this type of uh, ink magnetic ink to secure their data understood to secure their data such that no one can forge I hope you understood. So, this uh, now, M I 
सीआर के बारे में पढ़ेंगे दिस इज कॉल्ड मैग्नेटिक कैरेक्टर रीडर दैट मीन्स दे विल विच एवर बी द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन यूजिंग मैग्नेटिक इंक दे मस्ट ऑल्सो बी एबल टू रीड दोज कैरेक्टर्स राइट ना हु विल रीड दिस कैरेक्टर्स दिस मैग्नेटिक इंक कैरेक्टर रीडर विल रीड दैट कैरेक्टर्स नाउ हाउ डू दे रीड येस दे हैव दोज डिवाइसेज दोज डिवाइसेज आर बर्न विथ दैट मीन्स एम्बेडेड दीज डिवाइसेज आर एम्बेडेड विथ सम सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोग्राम्स वाट सम सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोग्राम्स एंड दो सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोग्राम्स और समटाइम्स वी कॉल ना प्रोग्रामिंग कोई थोड़ा सा प्रोग्रामिंग हमने प्रोग्रामिंग कर दिया इसको ऐसा बोलते हैं ना इसका मतलब क्या है वो एक सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोग्राम होता है जिसको बर्न किया जाता है कुछ एम्बेडेड किट के जरिए दिस इज दिस इज अ वेरी इंजीनियरिंग लेवल थिंग्स दिज आर सो इट इज़ वेरी वास्ट सेक्शन इट इज सो नो नीड टू थिंक अबाउट दैट बट सम हाउ दिस डिवाइस आर वाट embedded with some um, software the name of the software is called micr the name of the software is in abbreviation it is micr m i c r all are in capital okay now do what is it what what the, what is the meaning of mi magnetic ink what is the meaning of c character r means not reader it is what रिकॉग्निशन दैट मीन्स रिकॉग्निशन मतलब रिकॉग्नाइज करना मतलब पहचानना क्या दैट मीन्स टू रिकॉग्नाइज समथिंग दैट मीन्स कुछ पहचानना समझ में आया तो क्या पहचानेगा वो वाट विल ही रिकॉग्नाइज ही विल रिकॉग्नाइज दिज लेटर्स अंडरस्टूड दिज कैरेक्टर्स अंडरस्टूड आई होप यू गॉट इट सो दिस टाइप ऑफ प्रोग्राम्स और सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोग्राम्स आर बींग इम्प्लीमेंटेड और Uh, are designed the, these these are designed for uh, designed with the help of uh, designed with this type of micr that means mag uh, this type of recognition softwares understood magnetic ink character recognition now i hope you understood now um, normally these are uh, these type of inks are used by banks in case of uh, printing checks demand drafts etc etc okay i hope you got now come to o c r for first of all o c r optical character o c r matlab optical character reader optical character reader isko hum abhi mitayenge now in the meantime i would like to request all my viewers to subscribe my channel that means you have to you should press the subscribe button over there uh, just below the just below each and every what video and uh, such that you can get the wait power cut ho chuka hai to main thoda इसका फ्लैश थोड़ा ऑन करके देता हूँ एक मिनट लोग ओके ना आई होप यू आर यू कैन विजिबली एवरीथिंग इज विजिबल नाउ ओके ना वी विल नाउ डिस्कस अबाउट ऑप्टिकल ऑप्टिकल ओ पी टी आई सो ओ पी टी आई सी ए एल ऑप्टिकल कैरेक्टर रीडर कौन सा है ये ऑप्टिकल कैरेक्टर रीडर डेट मीन्स वो optical character reader character we all know reader we all know same what is optical optical means it is depending upon what it is something related to light of course it is related to light now how actually it happens yes see whenever light passes through some object if there is a difference between the light that means aise samjhane se aap log nahi samjhoge dekhiye agar maan lijiye ye ek page hai isme maine kuch aisa dot karke kuch aisa matlab black karke de diya okay 
now i am uh, sending some what light rays optical rays i am sending some optical rays through this a board suppose okay what will happen suppose this board is almost transparent light can pass through it okay now from these places the light will easily pass through yes or no but through this place is it possible to uh, pass all the lights uh, easily like in other places no no that means here on that behind the screen behind the screen that means on behind this screen there will be a screen okay on that screen this will be obtained or this will seem as a what this will uh, it will look like a dot it will look like a what dark something dark dot yes or no somehow okay now i hope it is visible for all no? so this will be this type of things will be what read by our optical character readers now here uh, the some example of optical character uh, readers are omr i hope all of you have heard this word o m r huh. now before discussing about omr i would like to say another it is actually i am talking about the device okay what is device optical mark reader now this is what whenever you see somewhere reader this is you have to automatically you have to know that this is not a software it is a what it is a device it is a what it is a device which is capable of recognizing some kind of marks okay now here what mark optical mark now i am talking about the software that is being used for optical mark re um, reader is what omr understood now omr ka full form kya hai o means optical m means mark but this r doesn't mean this one this means what recognition recognition okay recognition this is a software omr to exam mein agar pucha gaya what is the full form of omr you will not you should not or you will not write huh. you will not write this one optical mark reader you will write optical mark re recognition okay similarly same for micr also okay now uh, normally where this omr technique is used it is we whenever we are giving some kind of uh, we are sitting on a uh, in a competitive exam where multiple choice type questions are provided understood for that you will be see uh, for answer for filling the answer they will give you a sheet of paper where some rounds will be there a b c similar type of rounds will be there a b c okay over there written a b c d suppose okay here also a b c d and according to the answer a question suppose there will be a question set of question paper also if you uh, notice there and you suppose you got the answer at b okay at position b for question number one you got answer b for question number two you got answer suppose d okay now you will do what you will do you will fill that circle of that particular sheet using a pencil or a black color pen then what will happen now this sheet will be inserted or it will be scanned by um, a scanner with the help of a scanner it will place there and what will happen some kind of that means some optical rays or light will be passed through it 
okay light will be passed through it whenever light will fall on this sheet some rays means most of the rays will because the uh, intensity of light is very high so it will pass through this particular what sheet and it will fall on the screen of that particular scanner understood then what will happen these black dots through these black dots light cannot pass so easily the intensity of those spots will be very light on the screen tamane buji paisena akhomer akhomer koisu sa epal is the light pass kori dia hobo te ki hobo ei baki bilakor majhe to easily light pass hoy gusi jabo yes or no lekin is b me jo kala rang ka dot diya gaya hai na to usme kya hoga usme light jada nahi par matlab cross nahi ho payega usse ha to कम लाइट जाएगा वहाँ पे तो वहाँ पे क्या जनरेट होगा एक डार्क स्पॉट जनरेट होगा ना और उसको दैट मीन्स उस डार्क जो स्पॉट है उसको रीड करने के लिए रिकॉग्नाइज करने के लिए हमारे पास एक सॉफ्टवेयर इंस्टॉल है इस डिवाइस के अंदर वो है ओ एम आर अंडरस्टोर और ये हमें बताएगा कि जो बंदे ने आंसर दिया है वो बी है आंसर तो इन दिस वे देर इज सम अनदर Uh, there will be some another software which can identify that, it, that your answer is correct or not because the correct answer will be installed there so they will he will match it the computer system will match your answer with that particular stored data understood so with that with this technique very in a very small period of time that means instantly one a person or a computer can uh, give the result for a particular what way market i hope you clearly got it now now so omr sheets are normally used or utilized in case uh, in our uh, competitive exams okay now we will come to some another devices which are called the other devices will be what another device will be your card reader what card reader we will now learn about card readers now what the name itself indicates the meaning what is card reader first of all yes or no how does a card reader or card what is a card first of all you tell me what is a card see there are two different types of cards are available in our market or in our houses yes or no one type of card is called magnetic strip cards what magnetic strip cards okay and some of them are uh, and more and uh, and some are called smart cards okay smart cards now what is the basic difference between magnetic car magnetic strip cards and normal cards and smart cards i will i am coming to that point but before that we will we will learn about card readers see here also you see reader na so it is what this is a of course this is a device huh this is a device which can which can read the data which were written or uh, which were written on a what which were written on a magnetic card see uh, whenever we uh, go to some atm this is your atm card right looks like this like this so uh, master card shopping card some kind of uh, some uh, smart mo mo some malls that means uh, <laughs> like big bazaar uh, vishal so this type of mega marts provides this type of smart cards yes or no or sometimes uh, it may not be smart card but it they will provide you a similar type of card yes or no but all the cards are not of same kind some of them are magnetic strip cards and some others are smart cards now both looks alike but the basic difference is what in magnetic strip cards you will see in the behind back side of the magnetic uh, strip cards you will see a dark in a quarter hey dekho ba similar type of you will see black colored strip will be there right i hope you have noticed these things black colored strip strips 
are there in all cards except the cards smart cards in smart cards you will not observe this type of things there instead of that you will see a chip over here that means sim card and like sim cards you will see some strips over there yes or no like this strip will be there in all cards nowadays the atm cards are available with this type of chips understood chips means sim card mein jo milta hai na jaisa waisa hi ek aisa sim card laga hua hota hai what does it indicate this is a magnetic strip and this magnetic strip can store some kind of data in digital form understood digital this is a digital form of data storing and this it is also doing same thing but this is a new technology okay this is somehow improved technology but both of them are doing same work it is also and it is also um, uh, saving or storing the information regarding a customer or he is the uh, history of buying or transactions everything okay his history yahan pe chupa hua hota hai unka wo bande सपोज ये कार्ड मेरा है या फिर ये भी मेरा है और मैं इससे एटीएम में घुसाया पैसा निकाला तो ऐसे दो तीन बार चार बार एक दिन में मैंने निकाल लिया मान लीजिए आप लोग दो तीन दिन में मैंने निकाल लिया तो मेरा जो हिस्ट्री किसको पता होगा इस चिप को पता होगा उसके अंदर ये ये सब हिस्ट्री क्या होगा जमा होते मतलब डिजिटल फॉर्म में ये स्टोर होगा उसमें जो कि बाद में उसको रिट्राइव कर सकते हैं रिट्राइव मतलब उसको हम निकाल सकते उससे हम रीड कर सकते अंडरस्टोर दिस इज द एडवांटेज ऑफ हैविंग ए दिस इज द एडवान दिस विल बी द एडवांटेज ऑफ हैविंग ए स्ट्रिप कार्ड अंडरस्टोर स्ट्रिप्स और मैग्नेटिक स्ट्रिप्स और सिम कार्ड ऑन योर स्मार्ट कार्ड्स नाउ दीज आर द बेसिक डिफरेंसेज वॉट वी नीड टू नो normally gift cards gift cards have you seen ah oh, lots of gift cards are available in our uh, present uh, day to day life right so these gift cards are normally examples of magnetic strips some of the shopping cards or shopping mall provides you magnetic strip cards and most of the things that means who needs more security who the more secured organizations will provide you this type of sim sim attached cards those are known as smart cards i hope you understood now these are more secure than these these are okay now uh, to do read their to read their um, informations that has been in, uh, stored in this particular places or things the device that we need is card reader understood there are lot of card readers you have seen i hope uh, in banks also you will be able able to see that and in some business malls also card readers are available right so i hope it is very much familiar to you and all my viewers right now now we will move to these are the new or important input devices that has the that, that are to be discussed in this class that means in class 6 okay these are very new for you i know from theoretical point of view not from practical point of view because these we all see this in our practical life but doesn't know what happens how they read and what type of uh, softwares are involved in this particular devices yes or no but now we have we have cleared if you have still have any doubt please ask me i will try to reply your mass um, comments okay now we will shift to our uh, shift our gears towards what output devices what output devices output devices now what do you mean by output devices can anybody tell me yes output the name itself shows now here what happens you know here users doesn't uh, give any input or give any instruction here what happens all the operation after performing all the operations or functions inside our computer the computer wants to reflect the answer or result or the final things 
to the user that means computer will give now the uh, project or give uh, show the what show their result to user so these devices are responsible or these devices are made for showing the result or output of a computer system i hope now it is clear right there are several types of output devices about home monitors printers these are very basic things which we have already learned in lower classes but now we will lead, uh, read or know we will try to know some advanced devices which are also known as which are also used as output devices now see some of the important are uh, one of the important output devices lcd <clears throat> now what is the full form of lcd right liquid l for liquid c for crystal and d for device of course liquid crystal devices understood lcd now liquid yes jo bhi hoga lcd uske andar kya hoga kuch fluid type ka there will be a fluid made up of some crystals so liquid crystal will be there inside that device <coughs> which will project the digital information that wants to show by our computer system to the user i hope you now got it lcd screens are available now lcd tvs lcd monitors everywhere you will see most of the places are now using lcds and leds right okay now we we are, we are not discussing about led now we are discussing about lcd now lcd means it is to display sorry it is device nahi hai display hoga ha i have made a mistake liquid crystal display it is my mistake sorry it is my mistake this is liquid crystal display display it is display karega na device device to hai mujhe pata hai lekin ye kya karega display karega that means it will show something okay <coughs> now it is also sometimes it is also known as liquid crystal display projector okay what is it to use it shows the output from a computer on a large scale depending upon the size of the lcd or size of the screen i hope you got it okay now one more important devices what output devices braille printer what braille now what do you mean by braille b r a i l l e braille ek bahut hi famous person the जिन्होंने ये आ, मुझे जितना पता मुझे जितना याद है ये फ्रांस के रहने वाले हैं रहने वाले थे ब्रेल ने एक ब्लाइंड बच्चों के लिए एक सिस्टम ऑफ लर्निंग एक वन वे ऑफ लर्निंग ही हैव डिस्कवर्ड एंड दैट इज व्हाट ब्रेल कोड डोज लैंग्वेज इज कॉल्ड इट इज ए ग्राफिकल और सिंबलाइज uh study with which blind persons can also learn all the subjects which they want to achieve so braille was the person and from his name the system of learning that system of learning is also coded as, known as braille code now <coughs> as the name braille code you understood similarly braille printers are also capable of what printing those datas like other printers they are not like other printers but they will print the braille codes to provide the data inside the computer system to all the blind persons i hope you now got it yes so braille printer or embossor <coughs> sorry <coughs> embossor produces braille printouts okay 
same thing now actually what braille code is nothing but there are six like uh, similar dots will be available but out of those depending upon the character which you want to or which they want to uh, show there will be some kind of suppose this is this is uh, as far as actually I forgot to uh, what was it uh, means one, one of the character a b c d like that one of the characters it will this this whole arrangement will indicate but these are the rays somehow is set for a upper as a hotana कुछ कुछ जैसे मान लो कुछ एस यहाँ पे अगर कुछ ऐसा ऊपर उठा हुआ होगा हल्का सा हल्का सा ऊपर उठा होगा उसको हम ऐसा छू के पता चलेगा ना इसमें हाँ ये वाला ये वाला लेटर क्या है और ये वाला डॉट्स ये वाला डॉट्स क्या है ऊपर रेज्ड है दैट इज़ कॉल्ड रेज्ड ओके रेज उसको हम ऐसे छू के हमें पता चलेगा ये कौन सा सिम्बल क्योंकि उसको पहले से समझाया जाता है कि ये ये किस लेटर के लिए यूज़ किया जाता है समझ में आया एंड बाई Touching these dots, they will understand definitely understand that what actually this printer wants them to convey. Understood? So Braille printers are totally designed on Braille code system. Okay. Now plotter. Now what is plotter? Plotter is also a printing printer actually. It is a special type of printers. Plotters. What? Plotters. Look at the book, okay? You will get all these things in the book, inside the book only. Okay. Plotters. Plotters are nothing but a special type of printers. What? Special types of printers. Printers. Understood? Where? <coughs> Graphs. Data tables. Data, any other data, uh, data handling type or tables, etc. All type of graphics can be, what? Easily printed so plotter nowadays plotter is very famous okay okay plotter is nothing but a high quality uh, high quality or high quality graphics they use actually okay high quality graphics they can create high quality graphics charts etc okay now uh, plotters use ink paints okay or ink jets <coughs> there are several types of Printers, na? several types of inkjet, uh, dot matrix, somehow different, uh, many categories of uh, printers were available, right? So, it, uh, the, but uh, about uh, plate, uh, uh, plotter, sorry, but about plotter, I will say that plotters use ink pens or uh, inkjets to create those graphics, okay? Achha, two types of plotter are plotter is available one plotter kitna type kya hai plotter the do type ka number one drum drum plotter it looks like a round shaped drum okay over there it will rotate okay now another one is what uh, it is flat bed what flat bed flat f l a t flat b e d bed what plotter uh, both of them are for plotter only na? flat bed that is a bit like a bed flat bed okay the name itself gives the idea now these are the uh, okay these these were the uh, soft uh, not software these were the uh, output and input devices which we need to discuss in this particular class we will stop our video here and in next class we will learn about softwares different types of softwares types of software and we will try to complete the chapter by next in our next video as much as possible and also i would like to say that please note these things okay uh, otherwise it will uh, create some problem in later part of the videos and if you really like my videos please press like button and also i am requesting you to subscribe my channel because as soon as you subscribe my channel, all the notifications regarding my video or uh, my channel will you will get. Okay. And I am very much 
keen and i am very much sure that i will upload lots of videos regarding class 5 to class 10 especially for science based science stream uh, cbsc courses i will upload lots of videos and you will get as soon as i upload you will get the notification as soon as i upload new videos okay so it will be very much helpful for you and please like uh, subscribe my channel by pressing the subscribe button and also share my videos as much as possible in instagram uh, facebook wherever you can be able to send whatsapp wherever you can please share it thank you for watching my video stay home stay safe and we will meet in with another video very soon bye bye